It's me! <laughs> oh. Welcome, Chief. We sure have been waiting for you. Oh, don't I know it. I've, I've long waited for this. This is amazing to be opening this up. Level 1. This is my third Clash of Clans account that I'm going to be starting. This is the playthrough that I wanted to do <laughs> when the game came out. Uh, what, 5, 6, 7, 89 years ago? Uh, so this is your village. Yes, it's lovely. Life here would be perfect if it wasn't for- <laughs> What is this? Another puny human! Yes, it is! Oh no, it's a goblin horde! That has no real effect in the game, I love it! Okay, we're gonna build a little cannon for the bit. Okay, put it right here. <laughs> Ten seconds! <laughs> Are you gonna finish that now? Okay, pro tip, do not use gems in the tutorial. It's a waste. It's a waste. One gem, now nah, wait 10 seconds, thanks. Attack! So I say, bring it on, boy. Wait, two of you? That's a goblin horde? I think we need to define horde real quick. That's disgusting. Phew! Oh wait, so close. Wow. We built the village on the l What the heck? All right, yeah, let's go. Hey. All right. Oh, yes, the lizards! Yes, and then we fight back. Okay, another pro tip for you guys. You don't have to use all the wizards. I'm pretty sure you only need two. So we're going to go for the defenses first. Uh, and while they do this, um, so... Oh, I'm really excited to be doing this. I I want this to be like a, uh, a walkthrough tutorial kind of like tips um, for like the average player Whoa. or maybe the maybe not the average player maybe the player that uh, never has played or never would have played if it wasn't for someone you know guiding them through the game maybe. Um, okay nice going. We need to get this village in shape. Yeah I know fighting shape. Hiring a second builder. Yes. Okay so this is how you get anything done in the game. You need builders. So we're gonna go ahead and build the hut here. Um, okay, so elixir is essential for troops. Yes, okay. So we're gonna get a pump down here. And uh, again, not gonna use the gems. Um, uh, this is this is a time-based game, so there's a lot of time uh, to talk, to, to do things, to raid, while things are building, you're progressing. Uh, yes, yeah. small amount. Let's build a storage. Okay. So some of this might be uh, might be pretty obvious here. Um, so you have the town hall in the middle, which is the pancake-looking sad little hut. Okay, we need a safe place for gold. Yes, as well. Sweet. Um, so that's your town hall. That's basically like the life of the village. It doesn't really do anything other than upgrade it, but... Um, ah, just kidding. It, it stores some of the, uh, gold and elixir that you see in the top right. God, gold! We love gold! Yes! Okay, yeah, so we're gonna fight back with troops, of course. Um, yeah, so we have the town hall, we got some storages here, we got some pumps. And now we have a barracks built. Train troops. Yes, sir. I will be training tr How many troops do I need? All right, we're gonna train eight. No, <laughs> another, another. They want me to let move your friggin' chat box, woman. Oh, there we go. Okay, so now they want me to use more gems. It's 20 seconds per bar. Oh, all right. Yeah, so we have the town hall here, which is level one. Um, we have a cannon, which uh, defenses are used for defense, obviously, uh, on raids when people are raiding you. Um, so the goblins that we're fighting right now, that would be the campaign, if you will, uh, to, to playing this game. And they're really not, it's not a mandatory campaign, so you don't even have to do it really. Um, it's nice for like practice and extra golden elixir, especially in these starting levels here. But other than that, you really don't have to worry about them. So you're worrying about other players is the, is the real threat. Well done. Let's kick some green butt. Okay, so this would be the campaign here, the single player. Uh, so there's all these different, wow, okay. Maybe they added some, maybe not, wait. Oh, I can't even, okay, I can't even click on these. 
So there's a ton. We did the first one. That was the uh, payback here. So second one here is, so this is, this is the base here. So you see that there's this red line around the base. You can't deploy troops inside their base. Um, so you can only deploy on the outside. Things like this windmill, they don't have the red thing. It's just for looks. It doesn't really matter. Uh, so again, this is their town hall, right? And I guess this would be their builder hut or something. So those, those aren't going to attack me. So I want to attack the things that attack me first. Like I want to prioritize that. So, oh, I lied about eight barbs. It was only, only four. So I'm going to see if these four barbs can take this archer tower out. Um, without getting completely died off. I might have to use a wizard here. No! Please! Ugh. Okay, so wizards are like... <laughs> ahead of their time, obviously. The damage they output is insane, but they have like no health. Anyways, we will get to that. So we're just gonna let this clean up here. There's no time limit on these single player ones, which is really, really nice because there is a time limit on the multiplayer ones, which we'll get to, but probably not today. Um, so there we go, we get the three star. And I'll explain that too. Okay, so we're gonna return home, we're gonna finish up here. That was great battle, yeah, I bet. Oh, my name, Cammy Hump. There we go. Wait, is that right? Yes. Wait. Yes. Ah. Double, triple, check. All right, with the gold we took, we can afford to upgrade the town hall. Look, they're going to make us do it. Wait, should we do it? Yeah, we should. Okay, there we go. No, <laughs> I'm not going to waste a gem for 10 seconds, bruh. Thanks, but no thanks. All right, so there we go. Good job. Now you can build new things because your town hall is awesome. Look, we even have a level. Cool. Gems. Chief, you obviously know what you're doing. The whole village is counting on you. You clearly, yes, we'll allow that. Clearly, you have two other accounts, and this is your third one. So go ahead. We trust you. Thank you so kindly. Wow, this is so great. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, so just to recap again, the town hall, you upgrade. Okay, so you unlock new things. It's pretty cool. Um, they kind of restrict you here with the note the following buildings are unlocked at the new town hall and I don't even think you can I don't, yeah okay so they kind of restrict you with the gold because it's 4,000 I can only hold 2,400 right now so yeah there's there's that so you have to upgrade some stuff to be able to go but I would advise you Please upgrade every single thing you can before upgrading your town hall. Like, keep your builders busy. So your builders are up here in the top uh, bar here. I have two of two. Which is important because, like I said, this is a time-based game. You want as many builders as possible. And this is going to be like a free... Ooh. Look at that. You get, you get it with the deal. <sighs> okay, well, I want this to be free to play. So... I'm gonna try to, wow, they've changed everything. I'm gonna try to resist buying things. Um, wow, look at that, they've made the whole little interface. Okay, so I haven't played Clash of Clans. The last time I played, I should say, is when, is shortly after the second base occurred, the ship thing over here. Oh, wow. Oh no, we can't. I was like, oh wow, we could just build that right now. Um, so shortly after that, so it's been a long time, there's a new town hall, there's new things added into the game, so I wanted to come back and play it, and like I said, this is the tutorial, kind of walkthrough, step through thing that I wanted to do for a long time. So, here we are, we're at zero trophies, level two, two builders, so, yeah. The army camps hold your troops, so that's for attacking. Your, your troops in the army camps won't defend on defense, that's something different, that's in this, the clan castle. We'll get to that. The storage systems here are overall storage. So building this storage and upgrading it allows me to carry more gold. And the same thing with this elixir, elixir storage over here. If we were to upgrade this, we would be able to hold more elixir and more of it would be in it. All right, so we're gonna build all the stuff that we can build first. So that would be another mine here. And 
also another elixir pump. So these are going to, the pumps, the elixir pump here and the gold mine here are going to be passively collecting gold and collecting elixir. That's when you're not playing and, and when the app's closed, even when you are playing, you can see them chugging away here. Um, but it's a very small amount. In the beginning, it can be a lot. And if you leave it for a few days and come back, it seems like a lot, unless it's raided. We're definitely gonna build those because they're useful. It makes the base here bigger. You can see the white outline of the base, the like a lighter grass around the whole outside. Um, so that's like the red line. They can't deploy within this border here. So we're just extending that border with these as well. Uh, what? Okay, yeah, we can build another barracks. So building a second barracks allows us to make troops twice as fast. So the barbs that are in here will be able to be split up and made twice as quickly. Twice, twice as quickly? Twice as fast, faster. And here we go again with another cannon. This is just more defense. So we have two cannons able to cover more ground. You can see the cannon covers almost the entire base. So if we put this one on the other side here, we'll be able to cover a lot of stuff. And there's also another defense that we can get, which is the Archer Tower. So with the gems, I have 300 gems. So the reason you don't want to spend any gems, especially in the tutorial when it's like 10 seconds to wait, um, is because you want to be able to get more of these builder huts here. You can see the next one's 500. And that seems like a lot, seeing as you don't really get gems in the game. Um, you can from like destroying bushes and stuff and rocks and whatnot. Why does that sound like that? It's creepy. <laughs> so, uh, there's another way to get them. If you click your profile up in the top left here, your level, it's going to show you your town hall, you know, kind of an overview of your profile so that other people can see it as well. Look, siege machines. What? Crazy. Um, so there's all these different achievements here that are pretty useful. Look at this, join Crystal League. So if you can rank up high enough and, and progress in the multiplayer, you get 250 gems just for that. Um, so there's a whole bunch of other stuff here. The gems do add up eventually. Like I said, this is a time-based game. So a lot, <laughs> it's free to play. So of course it's time-based. And we're full here on troops, which means we can attack. So we can find a match. If I were to attack in multiplayer once, it says attack cost three hours. So it wouldn't take away my shield completely. It would just bring it down by three hours. So while things are kind of building up here, we're going to keep building all that we can, which would be walls. Really, walls are going to be meant to um, prolong the attacker. It gives you more time for your defenses to take out the enemy troops. So it's pretty useful, um, especially when you start leveling them up. So nothing else can be built, so that's good. So now we can look to upgrade things. As we said, we can't upgrade the town hall just yet. Cannons can be upgraded. Um, everything can be upgraded to a certain level. And it'll say, when you go to click on it, it'll be like, eh -eh, you can't do that any, maybe it's a snow. Okay, it'll just say, you can't, you can't upgrade this any further. For this town hall, you have to upgrade your town hall first, okay? Good, move on to the next thing, keep upgrading, then upgrade your town hall, yeah. Okay, so we have an army. We're gonna go ahead and use the single player because that won't touch our shield. And here we are, we have their base here. We have a little graveyard down here, that's cute. Um, so we have some holes in the base that we can deploy in. So we're probably gonna take advantage of that instead of deploying on the outside and trying to go through the wall because that just doesn't make sense. So. We're going to go for the two cannons on the sides here. So, there we go. So, I, I placed two barbs on each side, but I placed one to see where they would go because I wasn't sure if they would path to the town hall or the cannons. Once I saw it, they went to the cannons. I just deployed all the barbs. Um, so, like I said, uh, there's no time limit here, so we just wait for them to clean up. Now, the stars in the bottom. As soon as you get a star, you've won. So if you get one of three stars, it doesn't matter. You still won the battle. And to get the first star is 50%. So if you take out 50% of their base, you get the victory and you get to walk away with the win. Whether you got all the resources or not, that's a different story. To get the second star, you have to take out the town hall. So if you take out 50% and you get to the town hall, you get two stars and you walk away with the win. To get the third star you have to complete 100% of the base and destroy everything like we just did. 
Was this Clan Wars? Yes. No, we won't be watching the video. I'm excited for Clan Wars though. So that's how that works. Um, so you might be asking, well, what if I don't get 50% but I get the town hall, do I still win? Yes. If you get like, let's say 23%, but you get the town hall in that 23%, then you're gonna walk away with the win. So some things to keep in mind. There. Now, what does the win really mean? Well, it just means that you get the bonus for whatever uh, whatever uh, trophy league that you're in. So right now we're in the nothing league. As you can see, it's an empty shield up here and it's a zero. So that's fun. So the shop has two new things. What is this? What are we talking about? Whoa, holy. What are the books? Five book of buildings. What does that even mean? Look at all that gold. Yikes. Okay. Definitely don't buy those. That wouldn't make sense. So we have a builder. He One of two. So one of them's not doing anything, which is no bueno. So we want to make sure he's doing something. So let's... We have the elixir. No, let's not do that. That's too much elixir. <laughs> let's, um, let's upgrade the elixir storage. That makes sense. And here we can train up some more troops. And I'm just going to stack this thing. So there's 20. Wait. Did I use my wizards? Was I... I didn't even see that. When did I drop those suckers? Dang it! Well, anyways. Um, I was saving those guys. So, um, as you can see in the barracks. Bought, I guess. You're going to buy barbs. So we bought 20 barbs and it's making them. And as you can see, there's 20 barbs in this red here. And we're getting a Wi-Fi thing, okay? So there's 20 barbs in the red. Now, what that means is that you've bought them, like you've ordered them, and they're coming, but they won't fit in the in the camp that you have here. So this can only fit 20, um, and we have 40 queued up. So once the 15 are done here, they're going to go straight to the camp, they're going to chill there, and they're going to be happy little dudes, and that'll be that. What's nice, though, is that we ordered 20 more. So they're already paid for. We don't have to worry about having the elixir later. And also when they're queued up like this, they're gonna um, they're gonna be creating as well. So not only so if we wait for all 30 was it 33 barbs to be created and then we attack, once we come back, we're not gonna have an empty camp. We're gonna have 20 more because they'll already be bought and they're queued up, so they're gonna be creating. And if we wait for them all to be done, we'll have them instantly once we use these 20 here. So that's something you might want to do, um, especially later on. When, you know, if you check the game every hour or two, you can essentially have two armies created um, by only popping on one time. So, all right. So we have the little um, thing here, which has the notifications. They have news and events and stuff for me, which is well, guides and beginner stuff. What that doesn't make any sense because we're making a beginner guide. So this is the base right now. Um, when somebody attacks your base like the goblins did, they'll also drop these tombstones sometimes, and you can just pick them up for extra elixir. Um, it's like, hey, their troops died here. Take the elixir for yourself. So I'm not super worried about the layout of the base just yet, but the layout of your base is really important, um, especially later on. So we have all these walls and these defenses, and so we want to make good use of them. But as I said, right now we have that shield, so nobody's going to be attacking us anyways. Um, so I'm not super worried about it. Plus, we don't have the village editor yet, which is pretty annoying. So we have two builders working away. We have three minutes until that one's done and 1130 for that one to be done. Um, we have full army camp again. So let's go ahead and attack the Rocky Fort. Oh my goodness. I think that's a level two cannon. I don't think we're ready for this, but we're going to try it anyways, because what fun would it be if we didn't? So I think we can place right in there. So we're gonna go for four barbs on each one. So whatever troops I deploy that end up staying alive throughout the whole thing, you don't get them back. Like they don't come back half health or anything. They're just gone, like you've used them. So you kind of want to keep in mind how much you're using them. No, it's not gonna be enough. Dang it, so I have to use two more. That kind of sucks because I probably could only use one more. All right, so now we're gonna, whoa, what was that? Bombs. 
Okay, so there are traps too, but we'll get to that one. We'll get to traps. Here we go. We're gonna send the last bit here because they have to take out the wall. And hopefully they'll get to that cannon and destroy it. And we'll walk away with the win. So, again, as that's going, you can see in the top left there's available loot. 1,000 gold and 1,500 elixir. Which I'm sure it was 1,500 each. So, the more, you know, if I were to destroy a storage uh, for gold, like I can get more gold. Or, or only gold. So we destroyed the town hall which had gold. So we just got all of it. Um, and then these buildings. So there's zero loot left. So I could end the battle, have 84%, walk away with the win and the loot. But we'll stick around for the three star. And there we go. Coming back here. And as you can see, there's a bunch of barbs already here. And there's still 10 more left. So we're just going to go ahead and slap that up here. Um, cool. And we can't use any of these. Okay. Cool. So this is like an overview of your army of what you have spells and whatnot that we don't have yet. So and a little notification here. We're going to claim the reward because we got 10 stars in the thingamajiggy see we're already up to 305 that's not bad not bad at all gonna collect that and i think that's basically it for right now so just gonna keep the uh keep the builders busy and i think we'll save i don't i'm not sure how i want to do this uh i want to save i want to keep as much of this on video as possible um but some of the building and maybe even some of the rating is going to happen off camera. And I guess I'll just try to recap what happened um, if that happens. So, all right. So I think we're going to leave it there. And I hope that you guys enjoyed. I know it was kind of like a lecture. There's a lot to cover for people who just don't know what's going on in the game. And uh, I wanted to try and cover everything I could in the first video. And get that all out of the way so that we can move forward and and progress and not have to worry about talking about every little thing like the army camps and stuff but that's okay so we'll wait six seconds here and we'll upgrade something else so we have a lot of elixir i guess we'll upgrade what will we upgrade we will upgrade a barracks sure so we'll unlock archers next time which will be cool and we got another notification okay cool two gems nice 307 what what it's your boy so thank you so much for watching if you did like this uh go ahead and leave a like a comment subscribe if you want to and uh hopefully we'll have more uh content coming from this and other games and i hope this format was okay uh we'll see how it all turns out audio and video